The New Horizons team is, is getting ready for the data that's going to start pouring in. We've actually already started at this point getting new observations and we're looking forward to more and more data coming out. That we have the best map to date and the green postage stamps are the images that we're going to take of Pluto this summer. So you can see we're two months away and the excitement is really building. We're getting data down from uh, our instruments, looking at Pluto, looking at the system, looking at the moons, and it's really exciting. We've waited almost nine and a half years to get here, and now we're getting our first glimpses of Pluto at a resolution that we've never seen it before. We've designed the instrument so that some of our largest fields of view, Pluto fills the whole thing. It's almost six degrees in so the So right sky. now we're still building sequences and verifying them, kind of the, the, the last ones. Um, for the actual encounter period itself, we pre-built those sequences year, years ago, and then uh, in 2013 we actually rehearsed the whole encounter sequence. Um, so, but there's a period up to uh, a few weeks beforehand where we're still sequencing those observations. And the dark side is on the left, and we have a really neat observation plan. It's kind of tough to do. We're going to try and look at the dark side of Pluto as lit by the light from the sun bouncing off the big moon chair. The nice thing is, a couple of weeks ago, we had our last test. We've, we've tested everything, we've worked on our software and our procedures, and we know how to work with each other, and now it's time for the show. Space.com.